the short time available to me, I will uh, address uh, in the main the residential tenancy aspects of the Bill. Uh, this Bill is a pretense. It purports to give protection to tenants when ownerships of properties in which their existing tenants change hands. Cruelly and grotesquely, it provides that where a landlord can get 20% more money with vacant possession in a sale, the tenants must leave. It also provides that, apartments, that if apartments are sold in lots of under 20 dwellings, the tenants have to go. I understand that this particular section has now been reduced to under five by a Shannon amendment. However, 80% of tenants evicted from apartments are evicted by landlords with under 10 Oh, sorry, with under five rental properties. In a word, the bill continues the cruel system under which tenants are evicted where rental properties are sold. The government continues to put the rights of property before the right to a home and is fast-tracking evictions in the courts bill, now also before this House. The largest single group among the homeless have previously been in private rented accommodation. And this bill will ensure that that situation continues. I will be proposing the amendment suggested by Focus Ireland, the homeless charity, which provides that tenants in buy to let properties will continue in residence despite the sale of the property in all circumstances. Focus Ireland, as I said, the leading uh, charity working with home homeless families and those facing homelessness, says that up to 20, fa 20 families each month are becoming homeless simply because their buy-to-let landlord has been forced to sell by their bank. This means that around 40 children every month losing their homes and joining the record 12, 1,200 families that are already homeless across the country. Along with, the along with escalating rents, these evictions are now one of the leading causes of family homelessness. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, more families just waiting to face the same trauma. According to the Central Bank, there are a further 15,000 buy-to-let mortgages, which are more than two years in arrears. Whether they know it or not, all tenants in these properties are at risk of eviction. Other countries have found solutions to this. Just up the road in the north, banks that repossess a buy-to-let property are prohibited from evicting the tenant, and we must do the same. If the Focus Ireland amendment is passed, the grotesque escape clauses in this bill enabling eviction of buy-to-let tenants will fall. I will also be proposing that a formal declaration of a housing emergency be declared by Dáil Éireann. This will put the rights of families to a home above the property rights of vultures and other landlords. Landlords and the Minister of Finance would then be unable to block a halt to evictions and unable to block a halt to rent freeze by citing the qualified right to private property in the Constitution, which is of course subject to the public good. The Government itself has formally certified the continuation of a financial emergency as recently as June of this year to enable it to continue pay and pension cuts under FEMPI. Minister Coveney himself has said that a housing emergency exists. My amendment will formally declare that that is the case. The Taoiseach has asked the EU to relax the provisions of the EU fiscal treaty to enable borrowing to build social housing, but he has not declared a formal housing emergency at home. And of course the EU know that the Irish Government is only going through the motions because a housing emergency has not been declared. And I note over the weekend that Minister Noonan has now called on the EU to give flexibility under the fiscal treaty at the EU Finance Minister's meeting. Both Mr. Both Mr Noonan and the Government can now show that they are serious, serious by formally declaring a housing emergency. I believe it is time for an end to pretense and, and hypocrisy, and we must halt evictions from mortgaged and the rented market, properties market. as a Go, first step market. to tackling the housing Go, emergency which exists today.